everybody, welcome back to Shop Doc Fabrication. So today, I'm working on my 2016 Tacoma. It is a TRD off-road. Um, been a great vehicle, got almost 90,000 miles on it now. I think I'm just a few hundred miles short of it. Um, and it's time to do my brakes. Um, my front brakes are almost worn out. Um, they're getting real close to the little metal thing that, you know, makes the little clicker sound. Um, you know, so uh, it's it's probably time to do it. You know, it's November, actually it's middle of December now. And uh, before it gets too rough in winter and you know, my vehicle's full of salt and slush and crap, I'm wanting to go ahead and just replace them um, at this point in time. So what I'll do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and service and replace your front brake pads. Um, actually, it's not too hard and I'll just kind of walk you through the steps on how to do it. So hang tight, let me get the camera set up and we'll go through the process. So you'll notice here, this is a hard brake line um, that goes from the caliper to the brake hose. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this nut, which already broke loose. That way, at least I can position the caliper out of the way. The rotor, there are two nuts, one here and then there's one a little further down. They're 17 millimeter. I already broke them loose, but I need to uh, take my ratchet and finish taking them off. Finish taking this off and then I'll hang the caliper up and out of the way for a moment. All right, so you can see I've got the caliper here in my lap and looks like we need to pull this wire piece of wire out here. Um, and then we'll take out these two pins um, and then we'll have to also pull this piece of wire out here in the middle. It was actually up like so, um, so I will need to uh, remove this wire. Um, and then we can remove the brake pads, press the, uh, the uh, pistons back into the bore, and then we can go ahead and reinstall the uh, new brake pads. So let me go ahead and give this a try. All right, so we got the piece of wire out now. I'll need to finish pulling these pins out a little bit more. All right, looks like there were Two shims in there. Um, looks like this one was up against the caliper. Oops, looks like this, yep. This one here you can see by the stains was up against the piston there. And then this one was up against the caliper. Looks like they kind of go like so. So the vented one goes towards the brake pad. This one goes towards the, um, the caliper pistons. There's the first brake pad. Now granted, I still had, you know, plenty of brake pad. I probably could have gone a little longer, but it is about to hit winter and I really don't feel like doing this in the cold in another month or so. So I figured I'd just go ahead and change them out now. All right. So I'm not gonna remove them all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this one off now too. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave that one on. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to drive out these pins all the way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of leave them in here a little bit. So what I can do is now get a C-clamp and just slowly press these pistons back in. And then I'll take the other pad, same thing. I'll just set the other pad in here like so. Press the uh, piston back in and then I'll put the new pads in. So let me go ahead and get a C-clamp and I'll go ahead and press these pistons inboard. One thing I highly recommend you guys do if you're rotating your own tires, you know, doing your own work, that kind of thing, is put anti-seize on the wheel hub here or on the uh, rotor um, because, you know, if you uh, had to, you know, pry yours off, beat it, whatever, to get it off, basically uh, because of, you know, aluminum rim, metal rotor, you get some, like, corrosion build up and it's real hard to remove. Since I put anti-seize on mine, mine have basically slid on and off with no trouble whatsoever. So I would highly recommend you put anti-seize on your rotors here, uh, or you know, so that way you can get your rim off real easy. Just a little tip for the future. All right, guys. So the next step we need to do is we need to go ahead and compress the pistons here, all four of them, back into their bores. So we can put on the new brake pads. Um, and then because the new brake pads are obviously a lot thicker material, so they'll slip over the top of the rotor here. So like I said, so what I've got what I've done is I've just taken a simple C clamp, I placed it in the middle here on this brake pad, and I'm just gonna slowly turn it in and have the piston slide in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side as well. Uh, we'll see how this works. Now I do not have the other side of the vehicle torn apart because um, if I try to do this with the other side torn apart as this side, by me pressing all this brake fluid in, it could push the pistons out on the other side and actually push them right out of their seals and then you gotta rebuild your calipers or replace them. Um, so I would recommend you do this one side at a time. Now, the one thing I'm curious to see if the, these pistons will start coming out as I'm pushing these in. And so far, they're staying in. So what I'll be curious, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this side clamped after I push it all the way in. And you can see now it's all the way seated. I can't go any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here off to the side to hold this side from coming from uh, coming out. So this clamp is just gonna hold this in place. Now I'm gonna put the other um, pad back in. I'll get another clamp, like so. And then what I'll do is I'll push the other sides in. Uh, so that way, as I push these in, Again, it doesn't push these out. So I'm gonna hold these in place now that I've got these pushed in, and then I'm gonna get, I'll get another clamp, push these out, and then I can put the pads in place. So now we've got both sets of pistons pushed in. Now I'll take the old brake pad out here. And the same deal, uh, both of them, this shim goes to the outside, this shim goes to the inside. And now I'll go ahead and slip on the new brake pads. So the one thing to note is you'll notice, where's that other one? Here we go. All right, the inboard one has the little cricket deal, right? Has the little, this metal uh, shim here, um, so that if it hits the rotor and starts making noise, 
Um, that's kind of the alert to replace your brake pads. I always go by the rule of thumb. If the material is about the same thickness as the metal backer, it's probably a good time to replace it, you know, so you don't forget about it and so you don't ruin your rotors. So, uh, you know, basically mine are about to the point um, where they're about the same thickness as the material. So, you know, it's just what I like to do. You can do whatever you want, but that's the what I like to. But anyway. The little metal cricket here tab goes to the inboard side. The non-metal, there's no cricket pad, you know, cricket thing or metal little piece sticking out on the outboard one. So the inboard pad has that little cricket piece. And just real quick, new pad versus old pad, right? That's why I'm replacing them. All right, so here's the new one with the Cricut. And you notice I'm coming up from the bottom side to install the pads. So now you can see I've, I've basically loaded my two pads in place. Don't forget, you need to put this little wire piece in before you knock this back pin in. So we will take and set this in here like so. Hold that in there like so. Come on. There we go. All right, now that we've got the, everything reinstalled, the pads are compressed, we're ready to install the rotor. There we go. Get your two 17 millimeter bolts here and thread them back in. And then up here, we need to reinstall this bracket. And again, that was a 12 millimeter. And I'll tighten all these bolts up here in just a moment. All right, guys, so one real important thing I think you guys need to make sure you do is after you install your new brake pads, because you compressed your pistons inward, um, you're not gonna have any brake fluid, you know, or anything there for your pistons. So the first time you just jump in your vehicle, start it and throw it in gear, and you hit the brakes, guess what? They're gonna go right to the floor. Uh, so I recommend right after you get done doing your brakes, um, start the vehicle up, 
press your brake pedal several times to build up the brake pr pressure and your brake pedal feel. And then it's safe to put it in gear um, before you start moving. Because if you just throw that thing and drive, you know, and you're gonna put the, you know, hit the brake pedal, you're gonna panic because you're gonna hit your garage. Um, so make sure after you, you know, compress the pistons back in the caliper, and after you put your new brake pads on both sides, uh, you can wait till you finish both sides, start the vehicle up, leave it in park, press your brake pedal multiple times, you get that good hard firm feel, and then it's okay to put it in drive. So guys, I hope this uh, little short video on how to replace your brake pads on your 2016 to probably 2022 Tacoma uh, helps you guys out. Um, I'll put in the part number in the description that I used. I used the original Toyota brake pads. Um, went to my local Toyota dealer and picked them up. Um, so I, I didn't buy from like AutoZone, Advanced, any of those places. I used the uh, the OE brake pads. Like I said, I'll put the part number in. Um, but basically, it's it's not too hard to do. It's basically three fasteners you need to remove to give you a little bit more room to do it. Um, you need to remove, you know, basically two clips, knock out a couple pins, you know, com uh, compress your pistons back in, you know, reinstall the pads and the couple clips, and then reinstall the three fasteners. So it's not too hard. Uh, I would say it's fairly easy to do if you have a few basic hand tools. You will need like a breaker bar to break away those 17 millimeter. They are on there pretty darn tight. Uh, the 12 millimeter is not too bad for that little bracket. So uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, uh, obviously, you know, your tech, at least now you have a better understanding of what your technician is going to do uh, to repair you know, your brake pads or replace them. Uh, a lot of them will turn the rotors as well. Um, you know, I... I Basically, there's no uh, vibration in my brake pedal, pulsation, anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and install new brake pads and, and should be just fine. Um, if you guys, uh, you know, have any questions, you know, I would reach out to your local service shop. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps you understand what it takes to do it. If you feel like you're, out, you know, you're capable of doing it or at least what somebody else is going to do to repair your vehicle. So with that said, guys, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for take, taking the time to watch. Have a great day. Get out your shop, do something. And uh, hey, take care, man.